Heavy fighting is reported on the outskirts of Grozny, the capital of the breakaway state of Chechnya. The latest pictures show firing from Russian helicopter gunships and ground troops lighting up the sky. Russian soldiers, supported by tanks and air power, began their invasion of the rebel republic at first light in the biggest show of force since the Afghanistan war. The Chechen president, Zhokhar Dudayev, has warned the entire region could turn into a bloodbath. As the Russian forces continue their advance, Chechen leaders claim to have captured 40 Russian troops and six armoured personnel carriers. Two people are missing tonight in the worst floods to hit central Scotland for more than a century. Large parts of Strathclyde have been badly hit, with many homes flooded and road and rail links submerged. In Glasgow, up to five inches of rain fell in 24 hours, causing widespread misery. Completely devastated, and uh, I must say a, a wee bit shocked, I know. Uh, all day I've been holding back tears. We still don't know who it is. That is, the winner of the nearly £18 million in the National Lottery. The organisers think they do, but it won't be confirmed until tomorrow. Even then, the person may wish to remain anonymous. That's it. More news later. indeed and welcome to the big night in Stuart Snug, the final of quiz night. Do you like the frock? Yeah. Well, it's a mark of respect for quality contestants we've had throughout the whole series in the quest for this, this wonderful antique, which will go <laughs> to the winners. So let's have them in the snug. Right away, please, from Pool in Dorset, welcome the Albion. Yeah. It's Celia. Uh, Jeff. And Bill. Oh! This could be a battle royal. According to Mario Lloyd, they are sitting in the lucky seats. But meanwhile, from Cumbria, Welcome, please, the Bluebell! Yeah. Right. <laughs> Big Al. And Kevin. Still limbering up on their orange juice, keeping clear minds. The skills honed to perfection. I shall say no more. Alan is looking askance at me. Other than the immortal words, it's opening time! Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. 90 seconds of questions. Starting, of course, with the bluebell. Mike picks up the first one, and the 90 seconds starts now. Robert Fisher became world champion at what in 1972? Chess. Two points. Alan Truro is the administrative capital of which English county? Cornwall. Correct for two. Kevin, which actress played the long-suffering daughter of Alf Garnett? Pass. To Mike. Pass. You want to Mike, which Italian dessert is made from egg yolks, marsala and sugar? Pass. Pass. Pass to Alan. It's Zaffarioni. Alan, which city replaced Omdurman as capital of the Sudan? Khartoum. Correct for two. Kevin, on a ship, what's the term for the small cranes which lower lifeboats? Jibs? No, Davids. Mike, which actor played the civil servant Sir Humphrey Appleby in Yes, Mrs. Minister? Nine. Pass. Nigel one. Hawthorne. Correct for one. Alan, on which island is the RAF base of Akrotiri? Cyprus. Correct for two. Kevin, which precious metal is metallic element number 79? Pass to Mike. Pass. Gold? Absolutely. Inspired guess, one point. Why is Buckingham Palace so called, Mike? Uh, because it was given by the Duke of Buckingham to the state? Well, it was built for the Duke of Buckingham. I can't take it, sorry. 
Alan, what name is given to the ancient oriental punishment of beating the soles of feet with a pliable cane? Bastinado. Correct for two. Well done. Kevin, Charlotte Hughes died in March 93. What was her claim to fame? Pass. Pass to Mike. I don't know. Britain's oldest person, Mike. Which scientist's portrait would you see on the reverse of a current 20 pound note? Newton. No, it's Michael Faraday. And it's 12 points for Pipe Hopeless for the Bluebell. <laughs> it, it being a final, these questions are fairly tough. The Albion, your time starts now. Bill. From which research station did the first large nuclear protest march set out in 1958? Windscale. No, it's Aldermaston. Jeff, which treaty still in existence came into force on August 24th, 1949? Pass. To Celia. Don't know. No, it's NATO. Celia, Maryhill, Garscadden and Shettleston are parliamentary constituencies of which city? Glasgow. Two points. Bill, who succeeded Hirohito as Emperor of Japan in 1989? Pass. To Jeff. Akihito. Akihito is right for one point. Jeff, who invaded Gaul in 451 AD and was known as the Scourge of God? Uh, Attila the Hun. Correct. Two points. Celia. In 1964, Pope Paul VI made the first papal visit to which country? America. No, it was Israel. Bill, who staked out in Leather Farm in 1963? The Great Train Robbers. Correct for two. Jeff. Which battle in France was the first major English victory of the Hundred Years' War? Um, Cressy. Cressy is right for two. Celia, who wrote the scripts for Till Death Us Do Part? Spate. Johnny Spate is right, two points. Bill, who composed the opera Albert Herring? Pass. To Jeff. Benjamin Britten. One point. Jeff, what was the nickname of the 18th century pirate Edward Teach? Blackbeard. Correct for two. Celia. The Dragon Mountains, or Drakenberg, are the principal mountains of which country? We're out of time. The answer is South Africa. We're, we're out of time, I'm afraid, but it's tight. The Blue Belt 12, the Albion 14. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's much more to come, but meanwhile, it's round two. As you know, the random optic twizzles round, throws up two topics, and the bluebell, by reason of the fact they're trading by two points, will have choice. So let it whirl. Mm, it's thrown up kings or queens. Which one will you have? Take kings. You're taking kings. Question one for four points. King Harold V has since 1991 been the head of state for which country? Norway. Correct, four points. In which century was Macbeth on the throne of Scotland? A, 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 a shriek from the audience. Macbeth is the Scottish play we never mentioned. Say, oh, oh. I mentioned Macbeth. 15th. It was not the 15th. I throw it to Jeff of the Albion. The 11th. The 11th is right. You've taken two points from the Bluebell. Question three. Who succeeded Henry I on the English throne? Who succeeded Henry I on the English throne? Edward I. Edward I, I'm afraid, is wrong. Once again, I toss it to the Albion. Can you take up two points? Stephen. Inspired stuff, Bill. Two points. Oof. That was wicked. Fourth question for the Bluebell. King's College, Cambridge, was founded in 1441 by which king? Come on, I've got to press you. Alan. Henry the Sixth. You are right. Well done. Well done, boys. Question five. Which British king was the last emperor of India? Which British king was the last emperor of George the Sixth. George the Sixth. So at the end of the round, you've got 12 points, but the Albion took four away from you. Come on. <laughs> Albion. Bill has a quick slurp of the pint. Stand by. The question's, of course, on Queens. 
The Queen of the Night is a character in which of Mozart's operas? A magic flute. Four points. In which county is the Queen's residence, Sandringham House? Norfolk. This is very brisk indeed. You've eight points. Question three. When Tsar Peter III was murdered in 1762, his wife succeeded him and ruled Russia alone. By what title was she known? Catherine the Great. You have 12 points. Question four. Which Queen of Sweden was forced to abdicate in 1654 when it was discovered she had converted to Catholicism? Christina. Christina is right. Question five, you're going for a full house now. Who was the mother of Queen Elizabeth I? Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn is absolutely right. A marvellous round there by the Albion. Come on, it's... Oh! That is some form from pool down in Dorset. So the end of the round, the Bluebell 24, the Albion have 38. <laughs> If the tension is getting too great for you, put the kettle on or have a glass of whatever you fancy. Beer is being served in the snug tonight, so please join me after this short break. Cheers. <laughs> wallpaper stripper puts technology at your fingertips. It allows you to strip away old wallpaper simply, quickly, cleanly, and with total safety. Bosch. Excellence comes a standard. Hello. I hope you were recording that. 18 hours of tape under £10 at Woolworths. Dixons, Dick Dixons, Dixons, Dick 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 Dixons. From Gillette comes an aftershave that actually conditions your skin. Gillette Series Aftershave Gel. It moisturizes to help prevent dryness and promote smoothness for incredible comfort. Gillette Series Aftershave Gel, one of the high performance products in the Gillette Series. for a fuller flavor. No wonder it's number one. Turned out nice again. This is the main station in Milan. What's this Italian man run for the train? And miss it. You certainly know how he feels about it, don't you? Now see what happens at Paddington. This British chap is hurrying too, but he doesn't want anyone to notice in case he misses the train, which he does. Just look at that shy temperament there. Now, it's all right to bottle up our feelings about missing a train, but when we're missing a person, it's a good idea to let them show. No need to make an Italian opera of it. Just pick up the phone. Say what you feel. Room 324, please. And remember, it's hard to talk with a stiff upper lip. Barbara, listen. Throw all your things into a suitcase. Well, leave the conference. You can be back home in a couple of hours. No, no, of course I'm not drunk. It's just... I miss you. It's good to talk. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. 
Stewart's snug full to overflowing tonight for the Chris Knight final, which stands for the Bluebell 24 and the Albion 38. Now, many people have rung in and said, why are you calling them Perfidious Albion? Well, it goes back to the play Henry V. The Dauphin of France didn't like Henry V's habit of avoiding the truth. So Henry, once more unto the breach, dear friends, or show all the wall up with our English dead, gave the Dauphin a little touch of Harry in the night. There were lots of protests, but uh, Harry won in the end. But our Albion are anything but perfidious. They tell the truth all the time. They're honest and straight with their answers. They're absolutely super team, just like the Bluebell. And so the proof will come. As I say the immortal words, tis... For the last time on quiz night, I say three questions, four clues in each. Question one, clue one for four points. This city's site was settled by the Romans in the third century BC and suffered numerous Germanic and Arab invasions before it became a republic in the 12th century AD. You'll never get it. Alan's going for it. San Marino. Is not. The Ven Albion. Venice. Venice is not. It gradually lost its power and was controlled successively by France, Milan, Spain, and Austria until it became part of the unified kingdom of Italy in 1861. The bluebell are coming in. Sardinia. Sardinia, it is not. Albion. You try Sicily. You're wrong. So, third clue, two points. It's famous for the art galleries of the Palazzo Bianco and the Palazzo Rosso. Florence. Is not. Albion. Uh, Naples. Is not. And its cathedral treasury has an extensive medieval collection. Italy's, no, that was, the, that was a continuation of that clue number three. We're on to clue number four now. Don't be so cute. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Italy's largest seaport. It was the birthplace of Christopher Columbus, Celia, the Albion. No, it's coming through Jeff. Genoa. Genoa is right, so you've one point. Second question, first clue. This island, the largest of a group of which only one other is inhabited, lies on latitude 32.41 north and longitude 16.5 west. Albion are having a whack. Bermuda. It is not. Bluebell. Barbados. Barbados is not. Clue two. Worth three points. Embroidery was introduced to the island in 1850 by Mrs. Phelps, an English woman, and now employs thousands of women. I'm going on quickly to clue number three. Jamaica. Jamaica, you came in just in time, Albion. Can you pick it up? No. No. Clue three. The island was colonized by the Portuguese from 1420. Its economy is based on sugar, wine, and bananas. Madeira. The Albion. Madeira is right. So you've cracked Madeira and Geneva. The last question. This town has been a royal borough since 1190. Alan comes in for the bluebell. Dundee. Dundee is right. He's inspired the boy. A round of applause for that one. <laughs> now, I'll give you the other clues. It's shipyards built Shackleton's Terra Nova and Scott's Discovery. The greatest bad verse writer of his age, William McGonagall, worked there as a weaver, and it stands at the northern end of the Tay Bridge, which links it to five, which asked me to ask you to link Dundee, Madeira, and Geneva for three points. Well, as Marie Antoinette didn't say, let them eat cakes. You are right. Go on, tell me then. Well, Dundee cake, Madeira cake, and uh, Genoa is also a sort of cake. I would hope that you were showing off your culinary expertise there, because Genoa is a rich sponge cake, Madeira is a plain cake, originally made to be eaten with wine, and Dundee cake is a rich fruity cake topped with almonds. So, the end of the round, the Bluebell 31, the Albion 41. <laughs> This could be a round that sorts them all out. It's your round. Oh, 
<laughs> they're at it in the snug. They're a wonderful audience. But now I say a computer. Sort somebody out from Mike, Alan and Kevin of Bluebell to answer questions. It is rugged, Mike. The topic, geography. Question one, in which bay will you find Alcatraz? Bay of San Francisco. Correct, for two points. Which river is joined by the Royal Canal at Richmond Harbour? You're on your own solo spot. Royal Canal at Richmond Harbour. I've got to have it. The Liffey? No, you were nearly there. It's the Shannon. In Australia, Fremantle and Perth are on which river? Snowy. Sorry? Snowy? No, it is the Swan. What is the number of the parallel which separates North and South Korea? This being the final, it's tough. 38. You're right there, come on. Your last question, the friendly islands ruled by Queen Salote until 1965 are also known by what other name? Tonga. Tonga is right, and he's got six points on his run. <laughs> so, they're pulling back, 37-41. The Albion, Bill, Jeff, or Celia, if you please. It's Bill, the topic is cricket. Bill, who captained India to their Cricket World Cup victory in 1983? Who? Kepo Dev. You're right for two. Who was the first bowler to take 300 test wickets? Freddie Truman. Correct, you have four points. On which English cricket ground in 1956 did Jim Laker take 19 wickets in a test match? It's just down the road, it's Old Trafford. Absolutely, Andy, you get that one, you have six points. Question four. In 1933, which England bowler in the second test against Australia finished with only 2 for 52 in the first innings? Harold Larwood. You are right. The last question, get it right, you get a bonus for two. Which town is home to Derbyshire County cricket team? It's a long way from Poole in Dorset. I must have it. We're out of time. Derby. No, it's Chesterfield, but a brilliant round still. It's eight points at the end of the round. The Blue Belt 37, the Albion 49. <laughs> and I say, for the final time in quiz night, it's last orders. And it's all quick fire stuff. Now, will the Albion play tactics and not go for it? Huh? Yeah, going for it. You're going for it. Yeah. So, Bluebell, watch out. The time starts now. In July 1951, Leopold III abdicated as king of which country? Adam Bluebell. Belgium. Correct for two. Which British player won Wimbledon's women's singles in 1961? Angela, Mort Angela Mortimer. Correct for two. Which material was first made in ancient China from the worms fed on mulberry leaves? Adam Bluebell. Silk. Correct for two. Which year was the 200th anniversary of the birth of Beethoven? <coughs> Jeff the Albion. 1970. Correct for two. Whose first novel was The Comforters, published in 1957? No takers, Muriel Spark. What is the main river entrance to the Tower of London called? <coughs> Mike Gilbert. Trader's Gate is right for two. Which Irish singer had a hit with Jack in the Box in 1971? <coughs> Jeff the Albion. Clodagh Rogers. Two points. The Pentland Firth separate which islands from <coughs> Scotland? Jeff the Albion. Orkneys. Correct for two. Which member of the British royal family married in France in June 1937? <coughs> Celia the Albion. Duke of Windsor. Correct for two. Which philosopher was tutor to Alexander the Great? It was Aristotle. Which Italian inventor won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1909? It was Marconi. Mary Baker Eddy was the founder of which religious movement? Alan Bluewell. Christian Science. Correct for two. Who composed 20 Hungarian Rhapsodies for the piano? <coughs> Jeff the Albion. List. Correct for two. Which French author turned down the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1964? Alan Sartre. Correct for two. Katharina Witt was world champion four times. <coughs> Bill the Albion. Ice skating. Correct for two. Henry of Navarre or Henry IV was the first king of which French house? It was Bourbon. Who composed the 1953 opera Gloriana? <coughs> Jeff the Albion. Britain. Correct for two. 
When Jacques Chirac resigned in 1988, who followed him as French Prime Minister? Jeff the Albion. Um, Edith Cresson. No, Michel Rocard, minus two. Which folk singer in 1965 was booed off stage at Folly Fields for playing electric guitar? Kevin Bluebell. Bob Dylan. Correct for two. Which emperor was uh, taken prisoner in 1870 at the Battle of Sedan, fought against Prussia? Alan Bluebell. Napoleon III. Correct for two. In November 93, Mr. Paul Newell, Newell took up his official duties, and they were Jeff Lord Al Mayor of London. Lord Mayor of London, and the final two points go to the Albion. Yes, indeed. What a final. The Bluebell 51, the Albion 65. And now, ladies and gentlemen in the snug, we have a very special guest to present the trophy. Well, what do you think of me? Oh, me? it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I bet you were expecting Bet Lynch, were you? <laughs> well, you've only got me. <laughs> but you're lovely. You're proper oh, lovely. You now, see, we should have this in Rovers, shouldn't we? Nights like this. <laughs> Especially with these through six, yes. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, you're a bit of a quiz buff yourself, so I've got two questions for you. Oh, no, Yes, gosh. yes. <laughs> Who composed 20 Hungarian rhapsodies for the piano? Franz Liszt. Hey. Oh, oh. Oh. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy, right? Easy. What do the French call April Fool's Day? April Fish Day. Oh, oh. Right. So the boys and girls of the Albion, come on, let's let's have you up here. This is the trophy. Oh, the cap is very very heavy. Oh, that's nice. Present it to Bill, <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Bill, Jeff, and Celia. Right, give it to Jeff, that lovely bearded Which man behind you. Oh, he is the old captain. Oh. <laughs> well done. And... <laughs> Make it for it. And, 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 and the candle. And the candle. <laughs> You can have a glass, oh. you know. <laughs> and the champagne oh. comes in. It was a marvellous battle. They fought the way through 49 programmes we've had. 49 programmes. And here we are. This is Tête Angers. It's a wonderful oh, job. Oh, lovely. So we say cheers, everybody, to the winners. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. And now, cheers. let's bring on stage the beaten finalists, please. All the way from Cumbria. <laughs> the Blue Bell. The Blue Bell. Supposed to be in here. There you go. There you go. Absolutely super. Yes, well, there you are. We shall meet again. So it is not a farewell, it's simply au revoir for now. God bless you. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah.